Hello, this is the J Server channel. Um, I'm going to do a build video again. I've done a couple in the past. Uh, this is a new one. It's a build that I just made today on uh, one of the characters that's had a respec. Um, I was already using it as a mule, so like just to hold some gear and stuff. Uh, I'm not doing that anymore. I've just got what I've just found on the beach. But um, basically, I've made it into a move speed character that runs at a ridiculous pace. Uh, the way I've achieved this is through mostly uniques that I just had in my stash that give move speed, which is Ringveld's Charge is 10%, Fox Shade is 10%, Karoo Ward is 10%, Ondar's Clasp, which I looked out, apparently that's the max roll I went and looked up on the wiki, 15% uh, is the max roll for move speed on low life. So I also have 25% move speed boots. These it's on low life, so I need to tap an aura. So I pick haste because it gives me an extra one percent move speed at level one. Um, and then I put blood magic onto it, and then it necessitates reduced mana pretty much because um, I end up with like seven life and ninety three ES. It's just from gear, and then life is on there as well. Uh, I currently need two hundred eighty DPS because I'm using Ringveld's charge, and it's actually not bad. Um, if I look in my passive tree, I've got 4% from this node. The nodes there that are all move speed, these nodes that are all move speed. Uh, remove penalties to move speed from armor. And 8% move speed there. And then that's all you need. I think this is probably like level 30-ish you can get this build. Uh, then, the use for this build, you probably think it's fairly useless. And also, why would I be asked about having 7 life? as opposed to having about 70 life which I have when I use reduced mana. The reason is, you can see I've got a few instances up there because um, I fucked up making the video a couple of times. Um, but yeah, basically the reason is you farm mud flats for uh, bano ro raw feathers. That's the only use for a build that moves this quickly. And also if you're in trade and you want to cross town for no reason, you can cross town quicker than anyone else. Hopefully, I can do this. Oh, you can kill this guy, this is the other thing. Whilst you farm, you don't want to die to his kill. Oh, look at this. Uniques. Um, you can die to his chaos damage if you only have 7 life by even looking at him. You don't have to do anything. But if you've got the 75 that I've got, rolling. This flask that I'm using as well has another. It's 40% by default on a Quicksilver flask, and then I've got another. I think it's a roll of 23. Yeah, 23%. Also, just by virtue of having so many uniques that are evasion, well, two uniques that are evasion, that was nine, but 289 is a ridiculous amount of evasion for this tier. Like, this is normal because it doesn't affect the drop rate of the uh, Albino Raw Feather. This is normal, so having 280 odd evasion at this tier is absolutely stupid. Uh, let's just ID my Esmite, what's it name? Esmite Peak. ID these yellows that I found before. Don't know why I'm doing that, but you can shift click. I'll keep all of that. And that's it, really. I mean, see, there you go. I'll what little help I can offer is yours. Elk shards. Oh, yeah, anything. Good, but you know, every little elk shard helps. And there you go, that's how you build a character that can cross town quicker than any man alive. Welcome. Welcome.